What is up, ladies and gentlemen, Bionic Kyoto here, and welcome back to another episode of Half-Life Modifications. That is right, today's episode is Audio Adventure? I'm kind of confused about that, because the ModDB page said that it was actually titled Blind Monk Society. But, uh, we're just gonna dive in, and check it out, and see what we're getting into. Hello, and welcome to the Blind Monk Society. I couldn't help but notice you've had your eyes pecked out by ravenous birds. Wow. Oh, we the nostrils. Yes, foaming at the nostrils indeed. But fear not, brother. We shall help you learn to see again with your ears. We shall start you off here with a simple test. Brother Humperdinck? Yes, master. Would you be so kind as to stand over in that corner there and sing Mary Had a Little Lamb until this fine young gentleman finds you? Yeah, whatever. Mary Had a Little Lamb, E-I-E-I-O. And everywhere that Mary went, Danny DeVito was sure to go. <laughs> uh, Brother Humperdinck, I don't believe Danny DeVito was in this song originally. It's the name of a sheep. Ah, what do you know? Anyway, Danny DeVito pulls out his gun and shoots Little Bo Peep. That's quite enough, Brother Humperdinck. Just whistle until our lost little friend finds you again. Wow. Well, that was an opening. That is how you start your mod. That, I'm already immediately hooked and interested in whatever the fuck this is that I'm playing. This is already really fucking bizarre. Okay. So am I really going to be blind for the entirety of this Let's Play? Because this is going to be pretty fucking a boring Let's Play then if you guys can't see anything. But I mean, I can't see anything either. That's just this mod. Have I not reached him yet? Whoa, back off, buddy. Okay. I ain't your girlfriend. I may be sexier than a bear in britches, but I don't swing that way. Fantastic. <laughs> you did a wonderful job. Now, if you would be so kind as to follow me outside, we can get you to your next challenge. Um, <coughs> I, I, I do believe I asked you to come join me over here so we could mosey on over to your next challenge. So if you could come hither, that... That would be admirable of you, and uh, I would okay. thank you greatly if you would. I'm coming. Join me. Ah, very good. <laughs> Our first challenge has to do with water. You see, there's a river just over here, and it flows down from a lovely cool little pond. And there's a waterfall around the other side. Too. Very well, uh, brother. I, I seem uh, to have noticed that you've fallen behind again. This is so fucking bizarre. So this is actually a mod. The whole entirety of the game is played solely with sound. What you'll do is you can follow the river down to the lake shore, and then you can follow the lake shore around until you've come upon uh, come to a dock, upon which is placed a wind chime, which makes a lovely plinky dinky sound. And uh, we want to bring this wind chime back to us so that we may enjoy it for ourselves inside the monastery. Lagging behind a bit again, are we? Yep. Well, that's... I mean, you could like hold my hand or something, you, you know, I'm kind of like fucking blind, you. pal. Uh, you're like an alcoholic, you... An alcoholic? You keep coming back and... I'm blind! Anywho, once you have found said wind chime, Igor here will be up at the bell tower ringing the bells so that you may be able to find your way back. <laughs> Yes, master. Not yet, Igor. He what the even fuck? Sorry, master. Well, this is so bizarre. I, I seem uh, to have noticed that you've fallen behind. Oh again. my god. Uh, this is becoming a nasty habit you have. Uh, I don't know how much of this I can actually right, tolerate. So here we are. As you can hear, there's the river behind me. Uh, but I will say... Follow the sound of the water and keep it on your left. You'll okay. head east up towards the lake. Uh, upon which, when you reach it, you can keep the sound of the lake shore lapping at your left. And follow that around until you come to the dock, uh, which you will find wind chimes. Uh, so good luck, we're, we're all counting on you. Okay. We will all be singing him at the front door of the monastery when you return. So they ask a blind guy to do this. Are you fucking serious? L literally none of these people can go and do this. I have to do it, the blind guy. Okay, this sounds legit. Oh my god, I can't hear anything. I'm like knee deep in the fucking water right now. Like the thing about being blind 
of course, I'm not blind, so I'm kind of talking out of my ass, but, like, you also have other senses besides hearing. Like, you can feel things. And I feel like I'm... I'm not only am I blind, but I'm literally just ears. I have no other senses to guide me. I hope I'm not drowning. Okay, we're getting closer to the chimes again. We gotta be right under it. Okay, we're on the dock. Oh shit, it's right there. Come on. Take it. Hey, oh, hey, what are you doing over there? You stealing my wind chimes? Oh shit. Why are you monks always stealing my wind chimes? You people are crazy. I'll get my shotgun and shoot you. I'm Come blind. Here. Damn, dude, I'm blind. I can't see. Oh, you monks, I'll get you one day. Am I moving? I'm not actually pushing any buttons. I mean, I guess I'm still in the game, but his voice sounded like it's getting far away, like a... Okay, well now what? What? Oh, I hear something. I hear the bells and somebody talking. It's getting louder, yes! <gasps> Finally, after wandering in the darkness for so long! What the, the fuck? The is making my feet wet. Oh. My feet and my bum are wet. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Where am I? I'm tired. Okay. It's a place to sit. I don't want to sit in the grass. It's all wet. I don't want a wet bum. Okay. My bum is always wet. Where did the bells go? I never find a place to sit unless it's in the Who grass. Who the fuck is this guy? Is anyone there or am I talking to myself again? We're getting closer, yes. Yes. It's got to be straight ahead of us. Brother, over here. Welcome yes. Back. Fetch the wind chime for us? Oh, this is a wonderful wind chime. I did Thank it. Thank you for bringing it to us. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Is What's that the that end? you say about a pirate? Oh, you are a silly lad. A pirate? Anywho, uh, we will take this wind chime and place it inside the monastery. And in the meantime, you can get on to your next challenge. There's another See, there's one. Another are you fucking wind serious? chime that is hidden deep within the forest. And the only way to find it is by following a clever little woodpecker who flies from tree to tree. You gotta be shit, man. Making a rat -a -tat -tat sound on each one of them. And to guide you to the woodpecker is our good friend, Brother Humperdinck, who is going to be standing in the forest and will yell to you. Brother Humperdinck? We're ready! Are you fucking serious? If you kindly just walk this way, I can show you. Check it. not coming over here. You're just making me more angry as time goes on. Just come, come over here so I don't have to do anything for you. Come on. Step is over here. Please, just come over here. Dude, why is everybody being such really a dick to me? I'm blind. God, why does... Why does he always make me come out here and do all his bidding? I'm always the little guy telling people to come Dude, over. Dude, quit your bitching. I'm finally, literally blind. You finally got here. Woodpeck is over there. Now go get him. Oh my fucking god. How many more challenges do I have to do? Please tell me this is the last one. If it's not, I'm going to end this let's play. Okay, I hear the other wind chime. You still in my wind chime? What the fuck? I'm a lonely lumberjack, and they are my only source of companionship in this entire woods. Why are you gotta steal my wind chime? Why is he Italian? Hey, where are you going? If you don't come back here, I'll cut you down with my chainsaw. Jesus! Why are you bastard? Oh god! It's fucking Leatherface! I never knew he had an Italian accent. Okay. Now we have to walk it back to the fucking church, or monastery.
Please tell me this is the last challenge. I'm not sure I can take another one. Dude, what? Ah, oh. brother, you're okay. back again. So quick, too. You must really be learning how to see with this your ears. Better be the last fucking challenge. And you brought the wind chime. That's fantastic. What's that? Almost murdered by a stereotypical Italian lumberjack. <laughs> oh, you sure are quite the joker. Yes. Anywho, let us rejoice with a festive jig. Brother Humperdinck, would you be so kind as to play us a song? This is the last time I'm doing you any favors, you happy bastard. <laughs> Excellent! Let us jig. Yeah, hey, we're jigging. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Ah, yes! Okay, so is this the end? This has got to be the end. This goes on for literally two fucking minutes. Okay, is that the end? Now what? Please don't tell me that's the end. That's it? That's it? You make me do all that shit and then you... It doesn't even have a proper fucking ending? Are you serious? Oh my god. Now before we wrap up this video, I want to do one last thing. I want to decompile that map and uh, open it up in Hammer Editor and take a look at it. Alright, so here we are in the map. So we're going to, I guess, take a look around. <laughs> it quite literally... There's, it's literally just a flat plane. But interestingly enough, there actually is a modeled monastery here that we start off in. Huh, that's pretty neat. As you can see, pretty much everything is trigger boxes and audio, or what are these? Info, what are, what are these called? I don't even, I don't remember what they're called, if I'm going to be honest. But, um... They play audio, that's all you need to know. And that's basically what the majority of this map is, just trigger boxes and those speaker things. Which I guess is to be expected. Um, I guess moving on, we have gravel. I guess it would have been easier to listen to my footprints if I was to just follow the gravel path the whole time. And uh, here's our running river. Interesting. This is pretty cool. So this is what we were stumbling around in the whole time, basically. And here's the dock. <laughs> it, it's really weird seeing it, actually being able to see it, than when you're just hearing it. The world seems a lot more alive and vibrant when it's just the noise, but now that I'm actually able to see it, I realize that there actually isn't anything going on here. It's literally just a flat plane. But then, I mean, what else would they have needed to have done? I mean. All they needed was a flat plane. I'm just surprised that it's as detailed as it was. Like, they didn't actually have to model a full uh, building here, and yet they did. So that's pretty neat. But anyways, um, so that's going to conclude this episode, you guys. I do hope you all enjoyed watching. And if you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.